everyone, welcome to my June mid-month catch-up. June so far has been a reasonably good reading month for me. I mean, I've made some really, really great progress with everything I want to read this month, and I've only got a few things left, so I'm doing pretty good. So let's just go into exactly what I've read so far and what I need to read for the rest of the month. First thing to mention is Heart of Iron. I finished this literally last week at time of filming, and this is a sci-fi retelling of Anastasia, and this was really, really good fun. I found the world in this really, really interesting in terms of like the royal family and how all of that worked uh, with all of these different planets involved things like this i also really like the lost princess trope of this one as well i think it was done really well usually some books for me personally can be a bit iffy on the lost princess trope but this one did it really really well um i will say though that i do wish that the villain had had more time on screen because um, I feel like the villain wasn't really gone into that much and we didn't really know why they were doing what they were doing and stuff like this so I would have liked a bit more on that front but apart from that this was really good world building, a really good take on the Lost Princess trope, a really good retelling in general and also it did two love stories that I didn't mind so much which is shocking because I usually hate them so it was all around very very good I just wish the villain had been more involved in this so I gave it 3.5 to 4 stars I've then gone on to read Miss Marvel by G Willow Wilson I've read the first five volumes in this series and really really enjoyed them in the end I was a bit iffy because I had read No Normal before and I hadn't really enjoyed it but I feel like this series did get better as time went on I really like Kamala as a character I really like seeing her fangirl and everything like she meets Wolverine at one point and she absolutely fangirls and, and tells him that she's written fan fiction about him which I found very very funny and I did quite like that relatability of her um I will say the art style in this series was not my favorite it, but it was reasonable and while this was not my favorite marvel comic in the world i do think that this was pretty good fun i do talk about it more though in my um miss marvel reading vlog which is currently ongoing and you'll see that probably next month now but overall this was a good time and i gave it 3.5 to 4 stars as well i then read nova homecoming this is the sixth volume in the nova series that i was reading and has now rounded out that nova series and i really liked it i really liked seeing how like the series rounded up and how sam like saved his father things like this and i think sam really came into his own in this one so i gave it um four stars because it was a really good run and i'm very excited to continue on with nova and find out more about him in his own solo stuff and in champions i then also read Coraline by audiobook and i really liked the audiobook for this one i really liked the creepy uh, voices for the rats specifically but i do think it was done really really well in general as well with this audiobook and the book in general is wonderfully creepy it was not as creepy as i was expecting it to be but I don't know if that's just because I was reading it in 20 minute chunks and if I'd feel differently if I'd read it physically in one go I don't know but I did enjoy like the creepy nature of it I did enjoy sort of comparing it with the movie as well I will say I think I prefer the movie but that's just generally because I've watched the movie multiple times now and this was my first time reading the book but overall I did enjoy it and I gave it four stars as well and then went on to also read Vampires Never Get Old or specifically I've read halfway through now I'm literally on page 100 and I've also read the final story in here which is first kill i read first kill first because the tv series came out uh two days ago at time of filming so i wanted to read the short story first and then watch the tv series and i really like the short story i really like seeing calliope and juliet's kind of like tension with each other and that kind of thing and i just wanted more from it so i'm really glad i read that before i watched the tv show because the tv show did give me more of it please ignore the reviews for the tv show because they're absolutely slating it it's really good cheesy fun essentially it's sort of like vampire diaries and things like this which again are just fun tv shows and it definitely does not deserve the hate it's getting so if you have not watched first kill yet and you've been put off by the reviews don't be put off by them it's a really good tv show it's cheesy it's ridiculous it's just plain fun as for the rest of the book though what i've read so far is the first five stories so i've read seven nights for dying by tessa gratton the boys from blood river by rebecca rowan horse senior year sucks by julie murphy the boy in the bell by Hyde. Heidi Hellig and then also a guidebook for the newly sired Desi Vampire by Samira Ahmed and I loved the guidebook for the newly sired Desi Vampire because this one was sort of taking place in a literal guidebook for newly sighted Desi vampires and it was really funny really sarcastic I love the one of the um, Q&A bits because it's got like Q&A bits in it as well um, was 
so what do I eat? And it just said, your colonizer, which I found very funny and things like this. It was a very funny time, very sarcastic. I definitely want like a whole book out of this because it is brilliant, especially if like the book was like say about the people who made this kind of book and then like extracts from the guide book, things like this. I think it'd be absolutely brilliant. I definitely want more from it. Um, I also really liked as well Rebecca Rowanhorse's story, which was, um, the boys from blood river i really liked that one as well um senior year sucks as well was also great and seven nights for dying was also great essentially they were all great all of these stories that i've read so far out of this has made me want more from all of them and made me want basically an entire series from them so i know that probably won't happen but hopefully it will because first kill got made into a tv series maybe the rest of them will or maybe the rest of them will get turned into like full stories i don't know but i absolutely love the tone of all of these and the um different takes they have on vampires things like this are very enjoyable and i cannot wait to read the rest of the book i'm probably now going to read it in like dribs and drabs in between other uh, things that i'm reading or when i get five minutes but this is a really good um anthology so far and i think it's heading towards a four star because again i'm really enjoying it i may bump it up to five I'll start and see how the other stories do but so far very good i've also read the murderbot diaries um first one which is all systems red if i remember rightly and i really like this as well i found murderbot to be really really relatable especially in the socially awkwardness of it and to be honest with the tv show thing i don't want to be watching soap operas but i do want to be watching all of the tv because i've been re-watching stranger things as well as the boys because the new seasons were coming out the umbrella academy has a new series coming out in like two weeks time so i'm re-watching that and then I'm going on to Westworld and at some point I will be catching up with Grey's Anatomy which I guess is a bit so popular but you know what I mean I just want to watch all the TV so I was like I totally get this in terms of wanting to do that instead of doing literally any work and generally just disdaining the people you work with and things like this I absolutely loved it I thought it was absolutely brilliant I will definitely be continuing on with this series it was brilliant and I am so glad people have recommended this to me multiple times because they were definitely right, this is a great series and I gave it four stars. And then the last thing I'm currently reading is Light From Uncommon Stars, this is my current audiobook and I will say that the audiobook is a bit confusing because it's a single person narrating it, they're doing a great job but the problem is is that in, like within chapters we are jumping point of view so we're jumping from like different person's point of view and while it's not first person it is still confusing to go from being in one person's point of view to somebody else's with absolutely no break, no warning or anything so I would say with this audiobook it would have been better as like a full cast audiobook or with like just a little marker saying hey we're just going to be jumping into somebody else's point of view now or something like this just a bit of warning and this would have been a lot better for me but in saying that I am enjoying like the musical elements of it as well as like the queen of hell stuff as well as the um bits that are also about the aliens essentially there's like demons aliens and normal people and they said this it's a bit confusing but i am reasonably enjoying it i just think the audiobook is not for me i'm gonna continue on with the audiobook because i have now bought it so i may as well but i'm probably gonna reread it as well later on maybe next year or something in it or in a couple of months um in a physical format just so i can properly get it into my head because the audiobook is confusing me. I don't know if it's just me, but the way it's set out is not quite working for me. I'm still reasonably following the storyline, but I feel like I'm missing things when I am confused. So, enjoyable. Definitely will be continuing it. But at the same time, I'm probably going to reread it again in a physical format sometime later, just so I can sort of figure out exactly what's going on essentially and that's everything i've read so far for this month as what i need to finish this month i need to obviously finish light from uncommon stars as well as vampires never get old then i've also got a whole ton of miss marvel comics i've got this one which is her team up comic where she teams up with multiple people i've then also got another g willow wilson run or like the second half of it i've got saladin ahmed's run as well as champions and i've also saved a whole ton of other miss marvel stuff on marvel unlimited as well so i'm going to be going through all of that i've also got fables volume 9 which is the other comic i need to read which is obviously a story about 
fairy tale characters in New York. They've been kicked out of fairyland sort of like once upon a time but this is more adult so I need to continue on with that series. I also need to read the bone season. I am actually starting that on the day this gets uploaded so I'm going to be starting on that one. Very excited. I'm going to be buddy reading it with Abby and all I really know is that this one is very popular and it's in like an alternate London with clairvoyance. That's all I really know. I'm just very excited to read it. And then the final thing I've got is this one, which is The Mermaid, The Witch and the Sea. This is the book that um, won at the poll that I did at the beginning of the month. So I will be reading this one. And this one is about pirates, which is very fitting because I'm in a very piratey mood at the moment. So very excited to read this one too. And that is absolutely everything I've read so far this month and what I'm going to be reading for the rest of the month. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up comment down below tell me what you need to read for the rest of the month i'd love to know or if you don't have that much time leave me a boat related emoji down below to let me know that you're here i'll also leave a link down below to all of my social media if you want to check it out including to the comic book sanctum which is my website dedicated to marvel comics which is going to have a ton of miss marvel stuff going up over the next couple of weeks if you are interested in that i'll also leave a link as well down below to my etsy and Redbubble store which sells bookish merch and bookish bullet journal stuff if you're interested in that as well or if you just want to see any more of my videos please click subscribe subscribe here and over here will be the link to my previous video. But until next time everyone, bye!